I don't know what time frame this still was taken, so I can't give you an accurate. That is a picture of me. There. There. How about that, Mr. Fung? That I don't recall when I saw the videotape camera coming through. I do recall it being there. All right, counsel has had the opportunity. Uh, I thought we had an agreement, however, that we'd show each other these things before we start the session. All right, let's proceed. Back on the record in the uh, Simpson matter. Mr. Simpson is again present before the court with his counsel, Mr. Shapiro, Mr. Cochran, Mr. Blazer, Mr. Sheck, people represented by Ms. Clark, Mr. Darden, and Mr. Goldberg. Jury is not present. Counsel, anything we need to discuss? If that's not you grasping the envelope with the prescription glasses with your bare hands, what pray tell is it? If we can always have the envelope printed and if my fingerprints are on there then it is but I know that my that's fingerprints are not on that envelope that's not you grasping it with your bare hand that's correct but we, we went through this before uh, in putting these clips together for the court and for the district. When you looked at the ankle areas of those socks on June 13th, you did not see a smear of blood, did you? I did not look that closely, so I didn't see the, any smear of blood. Do you recall Detective Lang discussing with you, is it your testimony that you took it upon yourself when swatching stain 30 on June 14th to disregard your previous instructions to get as much of the sample as you could because you decided that this stain wouldn't be a candidate for DNA testing? I did not feel that stain was a good candidate for DNA testing. Let's take a look at the bottom of uh, this exhibit. You see another red stain that's labeled 305. See that? 